If you're a movie fan, then you already know what's happening this weekend in Hollywood. Yes, it is the countdown to the Academy Awards. Preparations are in full swing, and our new LA correspondent, Kim Brunhuber, is already on the red carpet with the Canadian angle. Kim. Well, David, there's a group of Canadians all nervously preparing for their big moment here in Hollywood, and not just the handful who will be walking this red carpet. Oh, that's gorgeous, actually. A delivery has come in. Boxes and boxes of jewelry. And this is all worth... Uh... <laughs> Way too much. <laughs> Don't rob us. It's, it's not so just funny. being responsible funny, for millions of dollars of jewelry <laughs> that's making Canadian stylist Carla Welch nervous. Oscars is like the big wow. So it's just, I feel the pressure. To get an idea of how her career's going, just take a look at the clothing rack in her Los Angeles studio. Amy is Amy Poehler, just one star in a constellation of famous clients. But her most glamorous customer, Oscar-nominated Felicity Jones, who will be walking the red carpet on Sunday. Can you give me um, like a bit more details in terms of what that look is going to be? For Oscars? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'd have to kill you, Kim. What to wear, that's the big worry for many. For others, it's what to say. Some nominees have been working on their speeches for days, speeches that may never be heard. Of course, if you think you've written a really nice speech, it's kind of sad to think that you might never use it. I may post mine. <laughs> well, there's a group of four of us, and thankfully I'm not the speaker, so I might thank my mom, but that's about it. Then, 30 seconds after the Oscars and 1,500 special guests will troop into this room for the Governor's Ball. I sort of have an incredible job. I mean, I and for 21 years, Sudbury, Ontario's Cheryl Chiquetto has been behind it all. She's spent the last six months planning this one party. And who's the life of that party? Would that not be Meryl Streep? So when she walks in, she just has a presence about her. I've never even said hello to her, but it's irrelevant. If you don't have the chance to rub shoulders with Meryl at the Oscars, this isn't a shabby plan B. They're putting the final touches on the star-studded Oscar-viewing fundraising party. We've got Heidi Klum coming, we've got Sharon Stone. We've got Sharon Organized by Elton John's husband, Canadian David Furnish. He spent the last couple of days looking to add to his already impressive guest list. Elton and I are always keeping an eye on who's coming into town and who we bump into. So, on Oscars Eve, one of the Canadian nominees told me she'll be agonizing over accessories, another told me he'll be spending time with his mom, and another said he'll be working on his next script, a way to take his mind off the more than 40 million people who'll be watching and the almost infinite number of what-ifs. David? All right. Have fun, Kim.